Welcome to News Bites with a Difference. I'm Doug Giesbrecht and today world leaders reflect on the results of the election of Barack Obama as the President of the United States of America. UK Prime Minister Gordon Brown called Tuesday's poll historic and said he and Mr. Obama share many values. Chinese President Hu Jintao said he looked forward to strengthening dialogue. Francis Nicolas Sarkozy said the poll had raised enormous hope. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon said he was looking forward to an era of renewed partnership and a new multilateralism. In Kenya, the birthplace of Mr. Obama's father, President Mwai Kibaki declared a national holiday on Thursday. Pope Benedict XVI asked for God's blessing on the American people. Afghan President Hamid Karzai praised voters for their great decision and hoped that the lack of interest in race and color while electing the president will go a long way in bringing the same values to the rest of the world sooner or later. Obama's victory marks a new chapter in the remarkable history of the United States, said Pakistani Prime Minister Raza Gilani. Outgoing U.S. President George W. Bush said Mr. Obama could count on complete cooperation during the transition. The president-elect will take over the presidency in January. On election night, Mr. Obama appeared with his family and his running mate Joe Biden in Grand Park, Chicago. He told tens of thousands of jubilant supporters, if there is anyone out there who still doubts that America is a place where all things are possible, who still wonders if the dream of our founders is alive in our time, who still questions the power of our democracy, tonight is your answer. But he added, even as we celebrate tonight, we know the challenges that tomorrow will bring are the greatest of our lifetime. Two wars, a planet in peril, the worst financial crises in a century. South Africa's first black president, Nelson Mandela, said in a letter of congratulations to Obama, your victory has demonstrated that no person anywhere in the world should not dare to dream of wanting to change the world for a better place. Now, together, let you and I pray in agreement with the Lord Jesus Christ who says, if two of us gather together in his name, he is right here with us. And if two of us agree on earth as touching anything we ask, then it shall be done for us by our Father in heaven. So let's together pray and take our responsibility seriously. Father God, we praise you and we thank you, Father, that you raise up leaders and you take leaders down. Father, we praise you that you guide the hearts of the leaders in this world. So, Father, our responsibility is to pray, to seek your face, to turn from our wicked ways, to trust you, to hear from heaven, and to answer our prayers. And heal our lands. Father, with the tensions facing our globe, financially, in warfare, in disease, in famine. Father, we ask you to anoint Barack Obama with the presence of Holy Spirit. That you would give him your wisdom, your anointing, your plan as he makes decisions that affect the whole world system.
Father, we ask you that the Lord Jesus Christ will be Obama's guide and that he will trust the Lord Jesus as his Savior. We ask you to work this in your holy name for your glory. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, thank you for joining me for news with a difference. As you lift these bites to God in your private prayer time, may Holy Spirit lead you in detail. And may Father God bless you. We produce new bites regularly and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow in cyberspace with news as it happens.